Welcome to regulatory requirement for medical devices and in vitro diagnostics in India. Lecture 1 that is medical devices and in vitro diagnostic introduction. What will we learn in this lecture? We will learn what is the medical devices, what is an in vitro diagnostics, which law regulates medical devices and in vitro diagnostics? Difference between drugs and devices, notified and non notified medical devices, which in vitro diagnostic kits are regulated, whether all medical devices are regulated. All this topic we will cover in this lectures. Now come to the first topic. What is medical devices? Is it regulated? Yeah, in general term medical devices means anything used for therapeutic and or diagnostic purpose in humans which is not a drugs that we can say that is the medical devices it means that it is not dependent upon being metabolized for the achievement of any of its primary intended purpose the intended primary mode of action of the medical devices on human body in contrast with that of medical products is not a metabolic, immunological or pharmacological. It means the medical device does not have any pharmacological, immunological or metabolic action to the human body. The term medical device includes everything from highly sophisticated computerized medical equipment like MRI machine down to simple tongue depressors. The other examples of medical devices includes orthopedic implants, pacemakers, IV cannula, internal prosthetic replacements, surgical dressings, mechanical contraceptives, needles, perfusion sets etc. So what is the definition of the medical devices? If we compare the medical device definition with the other regulatory authorities definitions, you will see there is a differences in the definitions of the medical device. But the main content of the definition will be the same. Just have a look on the definition of the medical devices as per the WHO. WHO defines medical devices means any instrument, operators, implement, machine, appliances, implant, reagents, reagents for in vitro use, software, material, or other similar or related articles intended by the manufacturer to be used alone or in combination for human being for one or more of the specific medical purpose of what are those medical purposes for diagnosis prevention monitoring treatment or alleviation of disease diagnosis monitoring treatment elevation or compensation for an injury, investigation, replacement, modification or support of anatomy or of physiological process supporting or sustaining life or control of conception or disinfection of medical devices. Providing information by means of in vitro examination of a specimen derived from human body and does not achieve its primary intended action by pharmacological, immunological or metabolic means in or on the human body but which may assist in its intended function by such means. This is the WHO definition and universal Universally, the medical device definition is same as 
we have seen here now why need for new regulation for medical devices in india medical devices are regulated as a drug this sector is very small by size as compared to other manufacturing industry the medical device import supply up around 77% of the market so this market is dependent on the import we don't have the indigenous much indigenous facility to cater the need of the population of the india the indian market is growing at cagr of 15% making india one of the fastest growing market in the world so strong drivers for this robust growth of the medical technology industry exist in india however the lack of the regulatory system harmonized standards accreditation legal requirement proper guidance on quality and best practices etc are affecting the medical device industry adversely the regulatory framework for pharmaceuticals and devices differ substantially we understand that the regulatory authority in the different region of the world recognize different class of the devices based on their design complexity their use characteristic their potential for harm if misused however in india this medical device re- is regulated under the provision of drugs and cosmetic act in 1942 under this act and drugs and cosmetic rule 1945 there were no specific requirement for import manufacture clinical investigation of the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics this concern were raised in various forum by the sector and finally the government of india has come up with the new medical device rules to harmonize regulatory requirement at par with the globally accepted regulatory requirement under this medical device rule 2017 the specific provision for import specific provision for manufacture specific provision for clinical investigation specific provision for labeling of the medical devices risk based classification all those provision has been made so what is required for the medical devices what regulation is required for the medical devices medical devices are specialized product we understand that it need different reg- environment regulatory environment than the drug due to their inherent and characteristic differences medical devices are complex and can be very individualistic it can have batch of one batch only one device of one batch however in the drugs it is not so the criticality of the medical devices is risk based you cannot equate high risk medical devices like implantable devices with the low risk medical devices like syringes or hospital beds but the medical devices are critical care products and it needs to be regulated properly and therefore this sector is looking for the specific and independent identity from the drugs now the drugs and medical devices regulatory system differs because of the because of their inherent characteristic inherent and characteristic differences and some of the example for this differences we will discuss here if you see the drug in the drug generally drugs are used in vivo however the medical devices may be used in vivo or in vitro also the active component of the drugs is based on the chemistry and pharmacology however the medical devices it is generally based on the mechanical electrical and material engineers drugs are intended for therapeutic use however the medical devices are therapeutic as well as diagnostic use the safety and efficacy of the drugs depends on the quality the quality depends on these two parameter safety and efficacy however for medical devices it depends on the safety and performance of the devices for drugs clinical trials are applicable to establish the safety and efficacy and for medical devices clinical investigation where pilot or pivot study pivotal study is required to be carried out to st- for the establishment of safety and performance of the medical devices in the drug for manufacturing of the drugs the requirement of good manufacturing practices is applicable 
However, for medical devices, the requirement of quality management system is applicable. As regard to the safety of the medical devices, biocompatibility test is applicable for the medical devices. However, for the drugs, it is local and systematic toxicity. In the drugs, the adverse events are due to drug interactions. However, for medical devices, it is due to the med device malfunctions. So these are the basic difference of the drugs and devices. Therefore, this sector requires separate entity and separate regulation for the devices other than the medical other than the drugs. What is the medical device regulation in India? Presently, the medical devices are regulated as a drug under the provisions of Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940. This act is a central act enforced by both central as well as state drug control department, state governments and this act is extended to whole of the India. What is the objective of this drug and cosmetic act? The objective of this act is to regulate import, manufacture, sale and distribution of drugs and cosmetics. And medical devices as already told you it is regulated as a drug therefore under the definition of drug that medical device is regulated and there were no specific requirement for the import manufacture clinical investigation of medical devices and in vitro diagnostic kits under the drugs and cosmetic act and rules there under therefore in order to have the specific requirement for medical devices the medical device rule 2017 have been published and these rules are framed under the existence existing drugs and cosmetic act 1940 the specific requirement for import, manufacture, clinical investigation, sale and distribution of the regulated medical devices has been prescribed in the Medical Device Rule 2017 and these rules have been implemented from 1st January 2018. So under this Drugs and Cosmetic Act, the medical devices are regulated as a drug. So definition of the drugs covers the medical devices. The section 3B of the Drugs and Cosmetic Act define the definition of the drugs. So under this section, the medical devices which are regulated, we can go through the sec def definition of the drugs under section 3B. The section 3B1 of the Act which states that all substances intended to be used for or in diagnosis treatment, mitigation or prevention of any disease or disorder in human being or animals. This section 3B1 where all substances intended to be used for or in the diagnosis, treatment, mitigation or prevention of any disease or disorder in human being or animals that substances covered under this section. Section 3B2 of the definition which states that such substances intended to affect the structure of any function of human body as may be notified from time to time by the central government by notification of the official gadget notification. Under this section certain medical devices are regulated. The devices which are regulated under this section are mechanical contraceptives, disinfectants and under section 3B1 the devices which are regulated are all the diagnostic kits, in vitro diagnostic kits all the surgical dressings, sutures, blood bag with or without anticoagulant solution. These are the medical devices which are regulated under section 3B1 of the drug definition. Now the section 3B4 of the definition states that such devices intended for internal or external use in the diagnosis, treatment, mitigation or prevention of disease or disorder in the human being or animal as may be notified from time to time by the central government by notification in the official gazette after consultation with the board. Under this section certain medical devices has been notified by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India and that notified medical dev devices have come under this sections and regulated under the provision of drugs and cosmetic act and rules there under. So under section 3B of the drugs, the devices which covered under this definitions are regulated as on date. 
Now, historical perspective of the med medical devices. If you see, prior to 1989, the medical devices were not controlled under the Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940. However, the certain items prior to this date were controlled under the Drugs and Cosmetic Act in 1940. These are the in vitro diagnostic reagents. All type of in vitro diagnostic kits reagents are regulated prior to this. All the sutures, ligatures, disinfectant, surgical tracings, umbilical tapes and contraceptives. These medical devices are regulated as a drug prior to 1989 under the provision of Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940. Thereafter, certain medical devices have been notified for its regulation under the provision of the SAD Act. Now, in the year 1989, the Ministry of Health has notified three medical devices under Section 3B4 and the, th those devices are di disposable hypodermic syringes, disposable hypodermic needles, disposable perfusion sets. These three medical devices were notified in the year 1989 and regulated since then. Thereafter, in the year 2002, the IVD for HIV, HBSAG, SCV and blood grouping sera. These four in vitro diagnostics have been notified and regulated as a notified in vitro diagnostic kits. In 2005, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has notified 10 more additional medical devices under Section 3B4 and these medical devices are cardiac stunt, drug looting stunt, catheters, intraocular lenses, IV cannula, bone cement, heart valves, skull fence set, orthopedic implant, internal prosthetic replacement. So these 10 new medical devices was, were notified in the year 2005 and in 2006 one more medical devices that is ablation medical devices have been notified by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare for its regulations. So as on date, total 15 category of the medical devices have been notified under the provisions of Drugs and Cosmetic Act and these 15 devices are presently under regulations. Recently, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare also notified four additional medical devices in the month of December and these medical devices are nebulizers, blood pressure monitoring devices, digital thermometers and glucometers. The implementation for regulation of these four new medical devices will be from January 2020. So 12 month time has been given for implementation of this new category of the medical devices and further the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has notified 8 more devices on 8th February 2009 which for which the implementation date will be 1st April 2020 and these 8 new category of the medical devices are all implantable medical devices, CT scan equipments, MRI equipments, defibrillators, dialysis machine, PET equipments, x-ray machine, bone marrow cell separators. So these eight new medical devices have again notified by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is also working for notification of more medical devices to come under the regulations and from time to time through gadget notification the same is being published for regulations. The new category of the medical devices which have been notified on 8th February 2019 that is all implantable medical devices. Here the earlier devices which have, been, which have already been notified by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and those are the implantable devices. Already that implantable devices are regulated but whatever the implantable devices which is not yet notified by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare all will come under this category and that regulation will be effective from April 2020. So this is all about the notified medical devices. So far total 27 category of the medical devices have been notified by the 
मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेल्व कैटेगरीज ऑफ द मेडिकल डिवाइसेस द इफेक्टिव डेट विल बी जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ऑनवर्ड्स हाउ एवर द रिमेनिंग फिफ्टीन मेडिकल डिवाइसेस आर अंडर रेगुलेशन नाउ हु यूजेज द मेडिकल डिवाइसेस द मेडिकल डिवाइसेस आर यूज बाई एवरी वन इन देयर डे टू डे लाइफ द यूज कैन बी टेम्परेरी परमानेंट यूज बाई द प्रोफेशनल और यूज बाई द पर्सन विदाउट सुपरविजन द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस मेडिकल डिवाइसेस आर टेम्परेरी यूज डिवाइसेस वॉकिंग स्टिक ड्यूरिंग द इंजरी सर्वाइकल कॉलर परमानेंट यूज डिवाइसेस दैट इज कार्डेक स्टेंट डिवाइस लाइक आर्थोपेडिक इम्प्लांट्स प्रोफेशनल यूज डिवाइसेस ब्लड एस ए मॉनिटर अनसुपरवाइज यूज ऑफ मेडिकल डिवाइसेज दैट वॉकिंग स्टिक्स सो दीज आर द सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द डिवाइसेस विच विच इज यूज टेम्प्ररी परमानेंट और अनसुपरवाइज यूज नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टैंड की विच मेडिकल डिवाइसेस आर प्रेजेंटली अंडर रेगुलेशन सो वी विल अगेन रिव्यू द रेगुलेशन ऑफ द मेडिकल डिवाइसेस इन द लाइन ऑफ द सेक्शन थ्री बी ऑफ द मेडिकल डिवाइसेस दि सेक्शन थ्री बी ऑफ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द ड्रग्स द सब्सटेंसेस यूज फॉर इनविटो डायग्नोसिस इनविटो डायग्नोस्टिक्स सर्जिकल ड्रेसिंग्स सर्जिकल ब्लेड्स सर्जिकल स्टेपलेट्स सर्जिकल सूचर्स लिगेचर्स ब्लड एंड ब्लड कलेक्शन बैग विद और विदाउट एंटी कॉगलिन सोल्यूशन दीज आर द मेडिकल डिवाइसेस विच हैव बीन कवर्ड अंडर सेक्शन थ्री बी वन ऑफ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द ड्रग्स द अदर टाइप ऑफ मेडिकल डिवाइसेस दैट इज मैकेनिकल कंट्रासेप्टिव लाइक कंडोम्स इंटरयूट्रेन डिवाइसेस ट्यूबल रिंग्स एंड डिस इनफेक्टेंट सोल्यूशन दीज डिवाइसेस आर कवर्ड अंडर द सेक्शन थ्री बी टू ऑफ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द ड्रग्स एंड रेगुलेटेड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स नाउ सर्टेन नोटिफाइड मेडिकल डिवाइसेस दैट इज आईवी कैनोला स्कल्पिन सेट हार्ट वॉल्व अब्लेशन डिवाइसेस कार्डेक स्टेंट बोन सीमेंट्स स्कल्पिन सेट्स परफ्यूजन सेट्स सर्जिकल नीडल्स all these medical devices has been notified and regulated under section 3b4 of the drugs and cosmetic act so these are the devices which are presently regulated under the provisions of drugs and cosmetic act and rules there under again there is a concern ki this this rules does not cover regulation of all type of the medical devices because in the drugs and cosmetic act there is a no separate provision for definition of the medical devices has been incorporated so far now how do medical device vary the medical device vary according to their intended use and indications example the simple devices such as tongue depressors thermometers medical thermometers and disposable gloves these are simple devices and used differently as per the intended use of the medical devices some advanced medical devices such as mri equipments which assist in the conduct of the diagnosis of the disease the design of the medical device constitute a major segment of the field of mechanical engineering and plastic technology so in india only notified medical devices are presently regulated as a drug under the provisions of drugs and cosmetic act we we understand that also the ministry of health and family welfare has published medical device rule 2017 through the gadget notification gsr number 78e under the drugs and cosmetic act which come into force from the january 2018 this legislation the ministry of health and family welfare government of india have introduced to harmonize our regulatory requirement of the medical devices at par with the globally accepted regulation and to harmonize the regulation at par with the global standards and also to boost the medical device sector that will make india more lucrative for the medical device development 
to encourage national and multinational companies to manufacture their product in India. So this initiative that Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has been has taken till we have the comprehensive regulation on the medical device in the country. Under this medical device rule 2017, the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics have been classified based on the risk as mentioned in the first schedule of the medical device rule 2017. This list of the medical devices and in vitro diagnostic kits had been published on the website of the Central Drugs Standard Control Organization that is the Central Licensing Authority. Under this classification list, general intended use given against each of the devices that is for the guidance of the applicant intend to furnish the application for import, manufacture of medical devices and in vitro diagnostics. However, the devices may specific intended use as specified by the manufacturers. In case the medical devices may be generally recognized for a particular use, a manufacturer may modify the use of the devices for that related use and in such cases additional data may have to be supplied to the central licensing authority for such uses so that the central licensing authority based on the evidence they will approve the same and they will include in the classification list of medical devices and in vitro diagnostic kits. So the classification list of the medical devices and in vitro diagnostic published by the central licensing authority is based on the risk of the devices and the component as well as accessory of the medical devices or companion in the in vitro diagnostic medical devices has been classified separately. However, the component is classified generally and placed in the same class as the principal devices. It is also recognized that some of the medical devices or in vitro diagnostic medical devices may have the dual use and they may be classified accordingly. This list is dynamic and subject to the revision and the central licensing authority from time to time that list is being revised. So based on the classification list, the applicant has to submit their application to the central licensing authority and based on the risk of the class of the medical devices, the specific technical requirement, specific fees have been given in the medical device rule 2017. Now we have understand what are the devices regulated under the Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940. So we will have some exercise on those de medical devices. You can see these medical devices and identify whether these medical devices is regulated or not regulated. What is this medical devices? This is hypodermic disposable needles. This device is notified devices and regulated under Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940. This device, what is this device? This device is hypodermic syringes. It is a notified devices and also regulated. Now this, this is implantable devices. What is that devices? It is a cardiac stunt which is also notified and this devices is regulated presently. This is another implantable devices. This device is named as drug looting devices. It is also regulated. It is notified devices. So by this exercise, at least we understand ki which devices are notified and regulated under the provisions of drugs and cosmetic act and rules there under. Now come to the in vitro diagnostics. What is an in vitro diagnostics? In the general definition of the medical devices, we understand then vitro diagnostics is also covered under the definition of the medical devices. However, as per the drugs and cosmetic act, this in vitro diagnostics are considered as a drugs. They are the substance that are intended to be used in the diagnosis of disease or disorder in human being or animals. So in vitro diagnostic kits as per drugs and cosmetic act is a drugs and defined under the section 3b1 of the drug definition. 
what are the classification for the in vitro diagnostic kits the in vitro diagnostic kits are classified by the central licensing authority as per the risk criteria from low risk to high risk that is class a to class d devices we will discuss this classification in the subsequent lectures now what is the notified in vitro diagnostic products during pre previous lectures we have discussed which in vitro diagnostic kits has been notified by the central government so the devices which have been notified under section 3b1 3b4 of the drugs and cosmetic act are considered as a notified in vitro diagnostic devices or products and these notified in vitro diagnostic kits are in vitro diagnostic devices for hiv in vitro diagnostic devices for hbv in vitro diagnostic devices for scv in vitro blood grouping sera so these are the four in vitro diagnostic devices which are, which have been notified under the section 3b4 and consider as a notified in vitro diagnostic products what is the non notified in vitro diagnostic products as we understand ki only notified four notified in vitro diagnostic kits are notified however all the in vitro diagnostic kits which covered under the section 3b1 of the drug definitions are regulated under the provisions of drugs and cosmetic act and rules there under so the devices the in vitro diagnostic devices which have not been notified under section 3b4 those in vitro diagnostic devices are considered as a non notified in vitro diagnostic products what are those in non notified in vitro diagnostic products except the four notified medical devices all in vitro diagnostics are considered as a non notified in vitro diagnostic products the in vitro diagnostic reagents for all test are covered however the instrument required for estimation are not presently covered example blood glucose test strips pregnancy test kits receptable for the bloods these device these in vitro diagnostic reagent kits they are covered however the equipment which is used with this in vitro diagnostic reagent kits have not been regulated the blood glucose test strip that is regulated as a non notified in vitro diagnostic de devices however the glucometer which is the instrument to be used with the blood glucose test strip is not regulated as on date for regulate for under the provision of drugs and cosmetic act and rules there under however as we also understand in the new notification this glucometer have been already notified and the effective date for regulation of this glucometer will be from january 2020 so these are some example of the non notified in vitro diagnostic products can you name these in vitro diagnostic kits this one is a in vitro diagnostics yeah it is a blood grouping reagent that is notified in vitro diagnostic kits this this product this product is a ointment it is it is not a in vitro diagnostic product so it is not considered as a ivd is this is a ointment this one this one is a in vitro hiv diagnostic kits reagent kits this is regulated this is noted notified in, 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 in vitro diagnostic kits so now we have the basic idea about the medical device regulation what are the medical devices which are regulated under the provisions of drugs and cosmetic act what are the devices category as non notified in vitro diagnostic devices what are the devices categorized as notified in vitro diagnostic devices which rules is applicable for import manufacture sale distribution of the medical devices what is the general definition of the medical devices we also understand that and also what is the difference between the drugs and the devices we have understand so hope you have basic idea about the introduction of the medical device regulation devices which are presently regulated 
devices which are not presently regulated what are the notified medical devices all those thing you have some basic idea so we'll finish this topic here and we'll go for the next lecture to cover other topic of the medical device regulation thank you very much